hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert date and time values into database in php so guys let's get started with this okay so i'm using bootstrap 5 to design this user interface okay so let's create a form to insert our date and time values so where i will store one username and the date so let us create one form group where inside this label and give the name input type which is form control and yep guys over here let me give the name attribute which will be the name only because we are storing the name and then let me copy this and paste once again for the date and date and time so we will mention this for example event date and time okay so we are taking an example of that so let us make this input type of date time hyphen local and give this event shortcut will keep dt for date and time that's it and now one button to save that form let's create over here one simple button which will be save event save event okay so we will give this and button type will be submit and to design this button i'm using button button primary classes let me just give margin bottom for this margin bottom three so now guys now let us view this output once let's get back refresh okay so this is our input of name and then input of date and time so which you can select that and date and time will be inserted so let's start the code to save into a database so first let us assign the name for this button name is equal to save date time so this one now let us give that form which will be method is equal to post 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 and this action will go to code.php file so when i click this button save date time that time it will go to code.php with this post method by taking its all its input values so let us go to code.php so before that copy this and move over here so guys let's give if condition to check that so is the button is clicked or not so you can use that is set function to check that button is clicked and that button we are checking with the post method and now let's create a variable called dollar name is equal to where you are going to get the input values of your input box of the name so let us copy this name and paste over here and then for the date and time event date time so let's copy this and call that over here as simple that's it now let's write a query to store this values into a database so for that let's create a column for it let's go to a database so guys you can see that i have already created one demo table and inside this i have the name so what i need is that event date and time column over here so let me just add with that so let's click on structure and select after the column name i want one one column over here go and then let's tell that event date time so let's keep shortcut event date time okay let us select date and time date date and time let's move where is date okay so here is the date and time so let's select this option and let's click to save saved let me browse it so your event date time column is ready so let's copy this and create that over here let's create one variable called dollar query q u e r y query is equal to where i'm going to insert the data so let's give insert into table name so my table name is nothing but demo where values v a l u s values inside that values you are going to pass the input field so what are the columns let's copy that 
so this two columns i am going to insert and the id is auto incremented so just ignore make them separate by comma so just use comma and then separate it now let's enter the first field is name so you need to enter the first field name so let's copy that name into single quotes you have to give make sure you are giving in single quotes copy this event date also event date and time let's paste directly and then execute this above query so let me create one variable called query run is equal to we will use mysql like query function to execute the above statement or query so before that you need to give the connection so database connection over here and then your query copy that and pass so dollar query is sent and now if the query is successful it will show the message so let us use if condition to print the message let me just uh, give enter and over here we will use session to show the message so let's use that session of status where you are going to is equal to over here you will tell date time inserted successfully that's it now let us just give this header location i want to go back to the same page date time.php i want to go to this page only so let's move there you can use this header location where date time.php file is my place so let me just copy this and we'll go with the else condition else where we'll paste this not inserted and now if you're using session make sure your session is started and if you're using this session because to show the message so let's copy this and start the session in your this page because we want to show the status here let's paste and now to show the message let me just paste that code which i have done for showing the message okay paste that's it guys. so this is a simple way which i am using to show the messages using session so let's save and test guys let's get back to a browser let's refresh and enter data so with prakash and event date and time we will select so let's give 16 date and time will be at 3 pm okay and let's click on save date time inserted successfully let's see in our db let me just browse cool so your date and time is also inserted but it has inserted in 24 hours format so this is how we insert your date and time so guys if you want to convert these things please watch out that video called uh, how to get and convert this time into 12 hours format so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video about next solution so guys, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like and share.